On average, there are 117 suicides per day in the United States. And each year, more than 40,000 Americans die by suicide. Although it's the 10th leading cause of death in the United States, exactly who is at risk of suicide is still hard to predict. What we hope to do is understand if you are in the hospital for any reason and then you're discharged, can we say something about your risk of death from suicide? To try and better understand who would go on to die by suicide, we drew on typical risk factors. We also added a newer uh, risk predictor, and that was the words that the doctors had written about the patient at the time of discharge. Dr. Thomas McCoy Jr. and Dr. Roy Perlis and co-authors from Massachusetts General Hospital examined the hospital discharge notes of more than 450,000 patients from 2005 to 2013. Researchers analyzed these notes by a computer program using sentiment analysis, which looks for positive or negative words like lovely, delightful, pleasant, or dreadful, unfortunate, or poorly. They found that certain words can predict a higher risk for suicide. The study appears in JAMA Psychiatry. The value of using natural language processing is it's a tool that lets us pull other things out that otherwise we would miss if we just looked at diagnostic codes and medicines and people's age and gender and so forth. Doctors McCoy and Perlis hope other hospitals across the country can eventually adopt this new approach and help bring more insight into preventing suicide. And if we can make predictions about who's at high risk, we can better target resources. We can better target interventions to reduce this risk. Laura Berger, The JAMA Report.